Hi Capricorn, welcome gods and goddesses to your reading. I'm so happy to be here to do this reading for you guys. Take what resonates, this can be past, present, or future energy. This is going to be just a general reading for Capricorn. If you want a personal reading, please go to my website or all the information will be in the bio. You can click on the links there, lighthousedelphi.com. I'm going to start off, you guys, with um, my love deck. The Twin Flame Path Oracle. You can buy this deck yourself as well. It's on lighthousedelphi.com. Support your girl. I need to buy a video camera. I just bought a microphone trying to make our channel better. We're almost at a thousand subscribers. So I just want to make um, the channel even, you know, be a little better with the with the video and the voice for you guys as well. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and get into this this is a timeless reading however happy valentine's day i love you and here's a rose if nobody has told you okay so let's get into this reading holy spirit prime creator jesus archangels ascended masters of the highest divine truth ancestors and loved ones beyond the veil i ask for your protection as well as I give this reading and I ask for the best message possible for my Capricorns. All right, choose a path. So do you have a decision here, Capricorn? Or maybe somebody has a decision about you when it comes to a friend group or soul tribe or something like that. I'm hearing making wise choices when it comes to soul tribe and friend group yeah look listening to your intuition you know which way to go it's not even I'm, I'm hearing you when you when you go to a fork in the road you already know which way to go it's just getting the strength to actually do it because you don't like hurting people's feelings but source is saying that look you will come into union with the correct people here you have to be able to trust your intuition and um you know i heard People might think you're making a power move or something like that, whatever that's about. But you have to make the best choices for yourself is what I'm hearing. Okay, we got true love out here. All right, what is this true love for Capricorn? You are my innocence. I never want to lose. So there is somebody that sees you as soul tribe or sees you as somebody very uh, innocent. It's almost like, you're a, you got killed in a drive-by. What is that? You're an innocent bystander. Maybe there was an argument and you, and you were an innocent bystander almost. New start here. So things are, things are cyclical and things will start again is what I'm hearing come this spring. All right. What is this? Holy Spirit for Capricorn. Yes, you're letting go of any karmic cycles, any belief systems that don't uh, serve your highest good. Anything in your 3D circumstance that is trying to get you off your path, you're not even fucking worried about it. There is somebody, though, that is sending you mental, uh, what is that called? Telepathic, telepath. You, there's a telepathic connection here with someone. Yeah unity and do you love me after everything so there is somebody that has hope for a future with you or hope this could be a friend or a lover or a family member here because this person wants hope to build a bridge maybe they burned the bridge with you and now they want to know do you still love them after everything i feel like you've had to burn a lot of palo santo though <laughs> or please burn burn some palo santo <laughs> you have somebody wanting to reach out to you here okay yeah because they're seeing things in a higher perspective and look dreaming of you there's that telepathia again i'm getting that song telepathia dreaming of you and thinking about you all the time because they feel like you're part of their destiny here they feel like you've helped them grow and help shape their shape you've helped shape them in some way yeah look at this king of cups rejection abandonment wounds so you have somebody that either you have feelings for or has feelings for you but you know there is still some healing that needs to be done there when it comes to um 
rejection wounds, abandonment wounds, and just really loving the inner child. Anything else for Capricorn? Telepathic. <laughs> I told you. This could this person could be a water sign. Okay, but this is why that you have chose to walk away is because you really value yourself, you value your time, and you know your worth. Okay? Messages for Capricorn. Messages for Capricorn. I'm seeing a lot of water here. Maybe go to the beach, Capricorn. Maybe go to the water. All right, Capricorn. That's too many. Evolution and rites of passage. So, you know, I'm getting that whole cliche saying of everything happens for a reason, you know, and I feel like you know that and you're grateful for everything that you've gone through because it's it was all part of the evolution of who you are. Oh, Shay, Capricorn, I like your attitude. I heard, get out my business, my business. Stay the fuck up out my business. I feel like people get nosy and try to be up in your business, okay? Yeah, look, with the with the deck closed off, it's like sometimes you have to close the door on people. I heard open door policy, but sometimes, you know what I'm saying, got to be a little picky because people sometimes look at you as an opportunity. Mm, you got to be aware of the opportunists. I feel like you are. I feel like you are. Rebirth and quest. This is what you're focused on, really, is this this quest of this rebirth i feel like you've been very brave and you've taken a lot of action towards your new beginnings in life there is going to be a rebirth though so i don't know if this if you're going to accept this person back or what but it says positive change is coming accept the positive change so even if you don't accept this um, person back you can't you can't accept their apology and um you know accept that new things are coming hidden in plain sight mysteries learning and teaching so i feel like you're a hidden teacher i feel like people don't even know that when they're talking to you they're actually talking to a fucking sensei <laughs> they're actually talking to splinter i'm getting splinter vibes so let's read what sub rosa says so you might have darker skin here capricorn or your person might have darker skin something about the triangle the triad or the three sub rosa let's see what sub rosa is talking about I hope you guys are enjoying this reading. Hit the like button, share, subscribe, donate to the channel, buy some merchandise so that we can grow more and more together. We're almost at a thousand subscribers, guys. Let's keep going. The, the hidden in plain sight, the rose has been a symbol of secrecy. I feel like you have this high priestess vibe. You're very high priest, high priest. You're very almost secretive. You're very mysterious. Okay. It says the ancient Romans wore rose garlands as on special occasions. These were hung above important meeting places. The conversations that took place were beneath. Yeah, I'm getting Christmas vibes with the garland. Okay, so you might be born around Christmas. Um, it says the conversations that took place beneath were considered sub rosa or under the rose it was understood that things said under the rose would be kept secret and not repeated so i feel like you're good at keeping secrets but i also feel like either if you're not part of a secret society secret societies like look out for people like you because you're so hidden in plain sight and you hold codes to be able to teach mysteries and learning. Um, you've learned mysteries and you can teach these mysteries to the mass. So you're actually like a threat. You're like a spiritual threat, but that's why um, source hides you like that. It says, there's also an image of the ancient Egyptian God Horus sitting with a rose and holding his finger to his lips, symbolizing 
silence about the deep mysteries. So that's what I'm getting. You guys hold the codes of the deep mysteries, Capricorn. The phrase sub rosa may have been its origins in ancient Greece, where in 477 BCE, a secret negotiation took place in a building attached to the temple of Minerva. On the building, on the building's roof was a rose garden, hence sub rosa. Another otherworldly theory of the phrase origin is linked to Eros, who is said to have bribed Hippocrates, the Greek god of silence and secrecy, with a rose to persuade him to remain silent on the affairs of the gods. So I feel like you know a lot of different things and you keep your mouth shut, you know, which I understand. I understand that, you know, um, there's a time to share and there's a time not to share, you know, um, but I feel like, you know, the tea on a lot of secret affairs or if there, uh, I don't know if there was any affair or something. I don't know. This card represents the great mysteries that are available for us to uncover and remember secrets that are waiting to be found teachings that your soul might be ready to learn. Look beyond what your eyes can see and dig a little deeper. You're here to uncover lost wisdom, ancient secrets, and deep mysteries. I feel like you are the lost wisdom that the collective needs, Capricorn. Because Capricorn, you are like the underworld season, you know? And a lot of people are scared to go to the underworld. But I feel like you've mastered that and you've grabbed the lost wisdom. Kind of like when Jesus went to death in the grave and he brought back the key, right? I feel like you have done that and you hold the lost wisdom. Are you being called to study great mysteries? Step in your goal, step into your role as a mystic. So you are a mystic, okay? Capricorn. So whatever you're being gu guided to study, study and whatever, whoever you're being guided to guard yourself from, listen to your intuition. Ashe Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed this reading. This is what I got for you guys. Hit the like button, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And hopefully all that got on here because my phone started to mess up. <laughs> so love you guys. And I'm going to end this reading here. Ashe. Peace.